A quick note before today's video, I just launched a course. It's free for the first 25 enrollments. So be sure to head to wpcourseguide.com and click on the link at the top about the Lifter LMS Elementor course if you want to learn more about how you can use Lifter LMS and Elementor to create highly customizable learning management websites. We dive into step one of getting WordPress ready all the way to creating templates and applying them to lessons and all sorts of tools you can use around that. A full site build course, um, free for the first 25 enrollments. So head to wpcourseguide.com and check it out. Without further ado, let's dive into the video. Hey, this is Will from wpcourseguide.com. In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can set up affiliate WP on your Lifter LMS website to have affiliates be able to sign up, promote your course, and get commissions for promoting your course. The developers at Lifter LMS actually coded the integration between Lifter LMS and Affiliate WP, and then the team behind Affiliate WP just added it to their core product, so it integrates out of the box. So all you'll need to do is head to affiliatewp.com or click the link in the YouTube description below this video and pick up the personal uh, license here. They have some uh, more licenses that offer more websites if you wanted to use it on more websites or they have a few additional add-ons but we're just going to be working with the personal version in this video so if i head over to my wordpress website here i already have lifter lms set up i already have a few courses on here and what i can do now is i've downloaded the affiliate wp plugin so i'm going to go to plugins add new and of course you would download that after purchasing here from your account tab, they have a downloads area for you there. Just download the zip file and then we can upload it to the WordPress website. So let me upload that zip file here. Cool, it looks like it has successfully uploaded here. I'm gonna say activate plugin and then awesome. So now Affiliate WP is installed and activated. Now we'll have a new option on the sidebar near the bottom we'll see affiliates here. And if I click on that, this will just give me a general overview of all the affiliate statistics, paid earnings, and all that kind of stuff. We're not really interested in this right now. The main thing we wanna look at is the settings. So if I go to affiliates settings, this is where we'll enable integrations at the top here for Lifter LMS. And of course, if you're selling through WooCommerce instead of Lifter LMS, maybe you're using the Lifter LMS WooCommerce extension, you would check the WooCommerce box down here instead. But I'm just using Lifter LMS on this website, so I'm just going to make sure that's checked. And now, under Courses and Memberships, it's pretty cool here, we'll have an additional option to set some affiliate rules. We have this Affiliate WP tab here, so if I wanted to disable referrals to say this course is not eligible for affiliate referrals, or um, I could even have a custom affiliate rate, we can set a specific affiliate rate like 25%, but maybe for this course it's 30%. So you could change some of those rules on specific courses and memberships. But most of the settings you're gonna be looking for are down here under affiliate settings. And we can see here we have an affiliate area page. Let's actually go check that page out. When you install Affiliate WP, it will just create this affiliate area page where affiliates can log in and manage their account. And what I can actually do here is sign up as an affiliate so we can see the process in action. So let me go to this URL in an incognito window so we can see what it looks like when I'm logged out. Currently, it's only going to offer me the option to log in. And the settings with my site right now are set so affiliates can only be created manually. But we want to set it up so affiliates can register themselves and then we simply approve them and they're good to go. So what I'm going to need to make sure I do is scroll to the bottom of the settings page here, affiliate area forms. Currently it's only showing me the login form, but we wanna show both a registration and login form, but we need to make sure affiliate registration is enabled. So let me say, allow users to register as affiliates themselves. Yes, require approval. So I just manually approve them when I see them come in. And then we could do automatically register new users to make everyone an affiliate. But for right now, I'm just gonna leave that turned off and allow users to register themselves. And of course you can modify this form. I'm just gonna leave it as the, the way it is for now. Let me fill this out real quick. Cool, so now that I filled out the form here, I'll say register. 
and now my account is pending approval. Let me go to the back end of the site here and approve that. So under affiliates, affiliates, right there, we'll see Will Middleton here, status pending. I'm gonna go ahead and say accept. Awesome. So now I can reload over here. And there we are. This is what the affiliate dashboard looks like. This is where affiliates can come and generate their affiliate URL. And we can see it says ref equals one. If I wanted to change that, I could under affiliates settings and ref. Maybe I wanted to change it to say link or affiliate or whatever. Uh, now you'll want to set this before you know, uh, you have affiliates on your website because you don't want affiliates to be sending out their links and then you change the URL so now they're not getting credit. You'll want to make sure you set that uh, the way you want it to be. And then we can also change some other settings here such as affiliate rate. Uh, percentage, if I wanted it to be a uh, 20%, or I could have it be a flat rate and uh, set a specific referral rate per commission. And of course, there are some settings that go along with that. You could do flat rate per product sold. So if there were multiple products in an order, that's not really relevant with Lifter LMS because you can only buy one product at a time. But with WooCommerce, of course, you could buy like three products at a time, things like that. Typically, people just leave it at a percentage, maybe 25%. And one thing that's kind of cool is you can set specific settings per affiliate. So if I go under affiliates here, I see Will Middleton, 25%. I could click on that affiliate and change their affiliate rate specifically if you had some affiliates you wanted to maybe give 30, 50% or something like that. So there's all kinds of settings to dig around in here, but that is the basics of it. We have the affiliate area. You might want to add that affiliate area into the footer on your website or maybe into the menu somewhere where you have affiliates where they can click that affiliate area link, sign up, you can approve them, and then they can start earning commissions. They can see all kinds of statistics, the number of referrals they've had, as well as payouts. Now currently payouts are manual. You would have to manually send them a check, send them a PayPal, or whatever you're going to do, uh, that would be manual and then you would just register that payment under affiliates, payouts, and you would uh, register that um, affiliate payment to that specific affiliate. But that's really all there is to setting up Affiliate WP on your website and getting going with affiliates for your Lifter LMS courses and memberships. Of course, you go to appearance menus, uh, throw that affiliate area right there somewhere on your menu, and you are good to go. And there are some other settings you could dig around in, but that is the basics of getting set up with Affiliate WP. Be sure to click the link in the description below this video to check out Affiliate WP. They have all kinds of add-ons and things you could check out that offer advanced integrations. Uh, they have some automatic payments options there, affiliate landing pages, and all kinds of other options in their professional plan or you could just go for the personal plan, which is what we demoed in the video here today. So yeah, check that out and check out the uh, free course for the first 25 enrollments if you're building websites with Lifter LMS and Elementor. I have a free course right now, free for the first 25 or so enrollments. So be sure to click that link and sign up for that course. This has been Will Middleton from WPCourseGuide.com. Thanks for joining me in this video and I'll see you in the next one.